everyone, I'm back with another video, hope you're all doing well. I thought it would be good to start a new series of videos, so I'm going to create a new playlist on my channel that's going to be called Quick Fire Questions. And I'm going to every week, hopefully, try and take a topic of science and ask you lots of quick fire questions, which I'm going to ask you the question and then you should pause the video and then write down your answer and then I'm going to say the answer and then it should be a really good way of checking that your revision's working and that you understand the topic. So today's topic is going to be digestion. I'm going to do a separate video on enzymes, so hold tight for that one, but I probably will dip into enzymes in this because they're kind of inextricably linked. That was a nice word for a Wednesday afternoon. Anyway, let's get straight into it then. So first of all, what is the definition of digestion? Pause the video. So digestion is the breaking down of large insoluble molecules into small soluble molecules. Next question, question two, is what is absorption? And absorption is when small food molecules pass from the small intestine into the blood. Some of you won't need to know this word, but I want to cover all bases. The next question is what is ingestion? And ingestion, you need to be really, really particular here. You need to say it's the removal of faeces from the anus. Coupled with that will be the definition for ingestion, so what is ingestion, and this is the taking in of food into the mouth. Right, so I think I've covered all the definitions I wanted to talk about there. Maybe I might touch on excretion, so what is excretion? And that's the removal of waste products of metabolism. Now I think I've done enough specialist questions, um, this will be opening it back up to everyone again, those people that don't need to quite know these definitions. So, first of all, Describe the process of digestion in the mouth. And your answer needs to be twofold here. It needs to mention both chemical and physical breakdown. So physical breakdown is mechanical breakdown, which is when your teeth grind on the food. Chemical digestion involves enzymes, and the enzyme we're talking about here is amylase. So what does amylase do? Well, it breaks down starch into glucose. Some of you may have learned maltose, but glucose is perfectly fine to write here. Next question is, where is amylase made? Amylase is made in three places, the salivary glands inside the mouth, the pancreas, and the small intestine. What is the name of the tube which links the mouth to the stomach? It's the food pipe, but we need to be more specific, and we're going to call it the esophagus, and do try and spell that correctly. I realise this is a really boring way of doing videos, I really hope you're finding it useful because it's not, it's really weird just sitting here. But anyway, let's keep going with it. Next up, what acid is found in the stomach? That is hydrochloric acid. What is hydrochloric acid used for? Hydrochloric acid is used to kill bacteria and pathogens. So remember, pathogen is a microorganism which causes disease. And that acid basically prevents us getting ill all the time, and prevents us getting food poisoning and horrible vomiting and diarrhea all the time. Next question. Which enzyme is produced in the stomach? And that is protease. Where else is protease made? It's also made in the pancreas and the small intestine. Let me know if the gaps aren't big enough or if they're too long. It's really weird doing it like this. Next question. What does protease do? Protease breaks down proteins into amino acids. What is the role of the small intestine? The small intestine is where the absorption of food takes place, so where those soluble food molecules pass from the small intestine into the blood. Name a third enzyme. The enzyme you need to name here is lipase. That was quite an open-ended question. You could have mentioned other things, but I'm going for lipase. Where is lipase made? It's made in the small intestine and the pancreas. What does lipase do? Well, it breaks down fats, or to give them their posh name, lipids, into fatty acids and glycerol. Do try and spell glycerol correctly here. How is the small intestine adapted for its function in absorption? And this can be worth up to five or six marks, so do try and get as much detail here as possible. First of all, it has villi, and then on top of those are microvilli, and what they do is they increase the surface area for absorption. You can talk about the fact that it has thin walls to allow, and do mention here the words diffusion and active transport of substances to take place more quickly. 
you want to say has a good blood supply, so a good supply of blood capillaries. And if you're feeling really fancy, you can talk about lacteals, which are do with fat absorption, but for most of you that won't be necessary on your spec. Moving on now to the liver. Now, the liver's role, what is the, I'm trying to teach you the topic. That's not how this video is supposed to go. What does the liver make? And that answer there is bile. Where is bile stored? And you're looking for the gallbladder here. And where is bile released into? And that is the small intestine. What are the two main functions of bile? So the first one you want to talk about is the fact that it emulsifies. And what that means is it breaks down large fat droplets into small fat droplets, thereby producing a much larger surface area for the enzyme lipase to work on. So effectively it's cutting up those fat droplets to help that enzyme work more effectively, more efficiently. The second mould is it neutralises because effectively when the stomach empties, it empties all the acid as well as the food out and all the enzymes in the small intestine can't deal with that super acidity. So what bile does is it neutralises it and brings it back up to about pH 7 or 8. But in terms of your answer here, just say that bile emulsifies, which means it creates a large surface area and you want to say it neutralises stomach acid. What is the role of the large intestine? That is to absorb water. Where are faeces made? That is the rectum. And where do faeces pass out of the body? And that is the anus. So, I think I've said everything I wanted to. Really hope you found this video helpful. I hope you like this new style. I'm going to try and upload these as regularly as possible to help you with your revision. So I recommend you revise the topic either from your notes or my videos and then come to this video and sit here and write your answers, pause the video, check your answers and you'll have a really quick way of knowing if you're getting the answers right. Um, hope you found it useful guys. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!